So I just did a hack job on my camera mount. Also, I could mount one of these onto one of these without blocking this. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right. All right, so uh, this is my Canon EOS M6, and I've got a Rode Video Micro monitor to it. It's a great camera, but there's one problem, and that is when you uh, when you want to flip it up if you're going to use it uh, selfie style. It's uh, almost useless with the microphone. Now, to be honest with you, if you're using this camera for a little bit, if you have one of the STM lenses um, and it's not a windy environment, you you don't really need this because it does not make any noise that I, I'm picking up when I'm listening to it. So um, this is purely for when you're going outdoors and that kind of thing. So my plan is, be, because the way it's set up, is to use this, which is a, uh, I think this one's a Camvate uh, small rig for a Sony A6500 or whatever I'll, I'll say right here. That's what it is. So anyways, um, I got this and uh, my thought process was to use it with the uh, as a little rig to kind of build up this camera for a little more serious stuff when I'm maybe out doing uh, you know third person mountain biking videos so this when it goes on there doesn't quite fit right because it's not designed for this camera but it has a whole bunch of quarter 20 and some other bolt patterns and it has its own its own cold shoe and then I also got this one is definitely from Camvate um, a cold shoe adapter that I can screw in anywhere on here to mount the microphone wherever I want so uh, Come along with me and uh, let's uh, make this fit a camera that's not meant for, in which case is this one. And that guy's gonna be a little helper. Ah. All right, let's get started. Fist bumps, boom. Should we check on baby sister? Yeah. All right, let's check on baby sister. She's still asleep, okay. All right, let's get started. Okay, so just a little brief overview here. Um, the alignment when this thing goes in all the way is not quite ideal for the screw. Anything keeping it from going over this way, I'm gonna to have to uh, remove. Hopefully it's just this little tab right there. So that tab's gotta go. Let's see, let's get a permanent mark. So we know that that tab right there is gonna to have to go. So like that and like that. And then across here, however that is, I'll use the inside as a guide when I do that. So that's that part. What else do we think is going to have to go? It's making contact right there. Let me get the foot there. Right there. So that's this whole part right here. So I can make a cut there and a cut right there. That should probably be enough to get the whole thing to sit like it, it's supposed to. So we're going to make those changes. It looks like I'm probably going to want to nip right there that little bit off so let's mark that i'm going to take that little bit off i'm going to take that little bit off and we're going to make a cut right there i'm probably going to want to take part of this off so like right there on the front so that i don't hit the uh, lens removal button and it's also covering that little covering that IR thing right there. That should be, and then across there. Sometimes you forget when you're in the middle of working on it what you were planning on doing. So that should be enough to do. So let's move on to the next step. So, okay. so this is obviously going to wobble around if I uh, just leave it like it is. Secure it temporarily. There we go. Shop rag in there to hold it. Let's start by making that cut right there. There we go. First cut is done. Uh, that's a hacksaw. All right, let's make that second cut. So we're gonna make a cut right there. She's still napping, we're safe. Right tail? Yeah. As long as she's asleep, we can keep working on this project. Yeah. Let's see. Let's cut that little nip off right there. Yeah. For those of you watching that have an idea to do something like this, I'm taking the saw blade, laying it into the face to kind of give myself a guide, and then I will tip the blade up and make the actual cut. But I'm using this just to kind of create a guide for the direction I want to go. Yeah. 
there it goes. Now for the last and most difficult one, I'm getting this little nip off. So I gotta make a cut that way and then a cut this way. I guess I'm gonna rest the saw the saw blade surface right against that surface right there when I do this. So let's take this off. We still gotta make that cut right there, so what's the best way to do this here? Yeah, grip it like that, there we go. Oh, got it. I, you talk about the, the words on this one, Dad? Talk about the words on that one? Yeah. I gotta see what this one is. General, so general hardware or something like that. There you go. Thank you. You are welcome, buddy. So I'm gonna take my thumb and kind of hold my thumb in place where I want the blade and let this safe part of the blade rub against my thumbnail to guide it as I go back and forth nice and slow until the blade creates a surface for it to work on and then I can move my thumb. Just like that. I think that's all the cuts, so we're going to do a little test fit and then see how it works. Yeah. And I think I'm just going to throw this rag away because I'm never going to get all this aluminum out of here. Right, bud? Yeah. In fact, we should use, should we use our new vacuum to clean it up? Yeah. Let's do that. And now we have the vacuum. And I'm done with it, and then you can use it, okay? might not work here. I just want to ride up on this side. Let's see. Almost. So close. So as I try to get the screw right here to align with its position, it starts to pull out because of this surface. Let me set this down here. This surface here is hitting against it and riding out. Right there, and it's just gonna move this way one eighth of an inch. So close. Little KP duty here. There's a lot of aluminum parts or aluminum dust. I don't want that stuff getting into the camera. Start. May as well cut this little tab off because that thing is just gonna serve no purpose now that it's not structural. Move my thumb out of the way. There we go. Baby sister still sleeping? Yeah. Oh, uh oh, she's up. We gotta go get her. Yeah. Let's go get her. So this little one just woke up. Yeah, did she wake up? Hmm? Yeah, she woke up. Baby on that screen. Yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's keep going here. Oh, that's annoying. So, this thing don't get too far. Drop that down. That was the easy part. I gotta figure out how to make a cut along that. Wonder if I can just wedge in and, whoosh, and whoosh, can try that. If I can find something to bite onto with a, since I cut so much material off of this darn thing. Let's 
actually screw in now. Looks like I'm going to want to take a little bit more out around the, uh, the button. I think, I think we got this set to the point where it will lock on now. There we go. Yes, yeah, so I need to cut this out around the button a little better. And then I think I'm going to be happy enough with that. I still saved two screws on the top. One quarter twenty in the bottom, whatever size those are. So, didn't quite get all the functionality out of that I was hoping to retain. I was hoping to keep all those screws, but oh well. So here's the camera again. Let's see if that did the trick. tools over here and I can't reach over for a slotted screwdriver. Come on. And there it is. Yeah, so I need to take a little bit more off of that. Okay, so we need to take a little bit more off of that. Yeah, it's basically going to take all the thread off. Just what we're after. Okay, sweet. Not perfect, but that will work. Got all of our functionality. Even save the cold shoe adapter. Even though I don't plan on using that one because it still blocks the camera or the lens, the monitor. But there it is. All right. So now we gotta clean all the burrs up with file and uh, clean it up again, and then uh, then we should be able to use it. Sweet. surface is definitely rough, but uh, maybe I'll put some Plasti Dip on it as a follow-up. Okay. Alrighty. I think I can live with that. Mission accomplished. Alright. It's always important to put your tools away, clean up after yourself when you're done. of the uh, Camvate cold shoe camera adapter. All right, let's see, put that on there. One thing about this is you're gonna need to be able to tolerate um, a little bit of scratches on your camera body because obviously this is not a perfect system. We're going to mount this guy over here. Use the black one just to make sure they match. It's spinning a little, it's spinning the whole thing a little bit. So I'm pre-spinning it and then turning it. No, no, not quite right. Now when I tighten it, it should turn it. There we go, that's closer to what I wanted. All right, now let's mount this bad boy on there. The microphone is right there. Train is outside, thank you very much, train. A little bit of cable management work, just like that. Okay, and there it is for noisy outdoor environments. Now let's pop this up, turn it on. 
So it's, it's usable. How functional it'll be, we'll find out, but uh, you can still see kind of how you're framed. I almost prefer to have something blocking the, uh, the monitor a little bit because that kind of forces me to look more at the camera when I do that. So, so I just did a hack job on my camera mount. Also, I could mount one of these onto one of these without blocking this. I'd say it works out okay. Um, comments, this part right here is uh, blocking the LCD screen just a little bit. I'm actually okay with that because it forces me to look, I look at my framing real quick, but it means, makes me think more about the lens than I do about the LCD screen. So that's, I think that's a good thing. Um, so hopefully, uh, you know, Canon comes out with a camera that has some kind of new swivel when they go for a full frame sensor and I'll jump on board with that. Um, you know, honestly, and that's another thing I should comment on. Part of the reason that I did this was because the um, Canon cameras, I have a bunch of Canon lenses. I mean, right here you've got the, uh, this is the 2 point, or yeah, 2.8, 70 to 2, uh, so I'm sorry, 28 to 70, which is a phenomenal lens. And uh, so I have all these great lenses. I didn't feel like switching over to Sony or Nikon and, you know, at Fuji, whoever they are, Olympus. Um, so I didn't want to make that switch because really, I mean, I love my Canon lenses and eventually Canon's going to come around. They're going to make a 4K camera that has uh, a mirrorless camera. And so it'll just be where, you know, it'd be the way to go. So the M6 is a great camera for what I do and I'm going to keep using it. Uh, and really I'm enjoying using it. So um, as always, hopefully you don't have as much headache as I did making something like this and you'll find a simpler way, but that's how you do it. So work hard, play hard, and be a big softy when you get home. You can help support the production of these videos by supporting me on Patreon. And there is the pile of parts that I had to uh, hack off this thing to make it work.